an incredibly time-consuming task that you're going to face again and again when working inside of Blender with Node is when you create a group, all of the names are generic inputs based on what they're connected to inside the group. This is problematic because if I want to reuse this group in future, I've no idea what these sockets are supposed to accept in order for this group to do its task correctly. I could go inside the group and then manually try and rename them, but the problem is I can't even see what's being fed into the group now from outside, so it makes it quite difficult in that respect. And also it's very time consuming to actually go through these one at a time. Now, this is a very small group, but if you've got maybe 50 or so input, then that's going to be incredibly time consuming. So a new addition to Turbo Tools, if you go into the menu up here, click on Group Tools, Rename, and it will automatically rename all those for you. And then in future, you'll know exactly what input that requires. It's not only available in Geometry Node, it's available in all Node editors. So even in the uh, Shader Editor, it's available in there. And in the Compositor as well, obviously, we've got it in there, as well as all the other tools which provide incredible functionality that otherwise it's not possible at all to achieve inside of Blender without the add-on. If you'd like to know more about what those functionalities are, then you can find out at 3d-illusions.co.uk. If you've got any ideas for other things you like automating inside of, the, uh, inside of Blender in general, let me know in the comments below, and we'll try and get those in in a future release. And if you're interested in Geometry Node and would also like to support the channel, I'm pleased to announce that after months of preparation, I've finally managed to make the complex subject of Geometry Node incredibly easy to learn by creating nearly two hours of video content and example files. You can watch part one for free on my YouTube channel, and then you can grab part two from the website, which is 3d-illusions.co.uk. So, I hope it's useful, and I'll see you next time.